Hey there guys and welcome to the finale of Mortal Kombat. Yes, it's already coming to an end in the final chapter. Quan Chi. Quan Chi. It disappoints me to see you here. Save your pity. I will have an audience with Quan Chi. You may address me. I will inform him. Is this why you chose not to save your family and clan? To maintain your place at his feet? Do not talk of my family, Raiden. Fetch your master, Scorpion. I must speak with him. You speak only with me. And finally, Raiden starts doing something himself, rather than letting all these other people fight for him. And he really doesn't have that many special moves. I expected more from the God of Thunder. But yeah, he has this really weird Superman dive, which is actually one of his best moves, because it's strong as hell. But Scorpion is still kicking my ass. So that move is kind of high risk, high reward. If you manage to pull it off, it'll do a lot of damage and knock your opponent away quite a lot. But if they block it, you'll leave yourself wide open for like an uppercut or something. So, yeah. Personally, I don't like Raiden at all. I mean, he's not that good in my opinion. He has a great, really fast teleport though. And a nice spammable thunderball projectile, but that's pretty much all he has to him. And the Superman dive. Also, uh, I don't know if you can hear it over my voice, but the gibberish he shouts out when he does his... Ow! When he does the Superman move, it's just crazy. Oh, there goes your forehead, and... Yoink! That's just awesome, the little thunder... Ah, oh, crap. I call bullshit. Ah, oh, well. First round with Raiden and I immediately lose. That's one hell of a like, sign for the rest of this chapter. Because it's only going to get harder from here on out. Yeah, they did save the hardest for last in this story mode. Trust me. Scorpion is just the beginning. But yeah, he is one of the few characters still alive. I mean, who is still alive at this point? Uh, we have Raiden, uh, Sonya, Johnny Cage, I th also think was alive, Liu Kang. Uh, let's see, Scorpion still there, Quan Chi, uh, Shao Kahn, of course. Let's see, I think Shang Tsung is dead. Uh, Goro and Kintaro were. Let's see, I think Noob Cybot may be dead. Because he was thrown into that soul tornado and apparently ripped apart. Uh, we haven't really seen Shiva or Baraka or Melina or Reptile in ages. Pretty sure they're still alive. Ermac, probably as well. Last thing at. I think last thing we saw at Kano was him being frozen in ice, so I don't know if he's still alive or not. Uh, yeah, pretty much all of the good guys are dead. I think the story kind of jumped the shark there, I mean... They, they was like, okay, we have all these good guy characters now, and... Yeah, we kind of didn't plan that right, because, uh... We kind of need to kill off a whole bunch of them. So they did kill off, like... Pretty much all of the good guys, apart from Raiden, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, and Sonya. And I don't even like Liu Kang or Sonya. Why couldn't they have, like, let Cabal or Striker or Cyber Sub-Zero live? But no. And we only just were, like, introduced to those guys. I mean, Striker, Chapter 12, Cabal, Chapter 13, Cyber Sub-Zero, Chapter 14, and then they get killed off, like, one chapter later. Like, the characters we've seen from the beginning, who were like, eh, we're bored of them already. No, they just stay alive. Yeah. Yeah, sucks Katana and Jade had to die, though. Now all the eye candy is gone. Okay, Scorpion. Really need to end this now. I think I have enough power for, like, an X-ray, so... Let's crack his forehead wide open, because it's awesome. And, yoink. Okay, Scorpion is vanquished. Time for the next one. Now, Scorpion, fetch your master. You 
seek an audience. I seek cooperation between Earthrealm and the Netherrealm. Losing the battle, are you? We will prevail, but with the Netherrealm fighting at our side... You lie poorly, Raiden. Earthrealm's defenses are overwhelmed. You have mere hours. Name your terms. What do you offer? I offer... I offer the souls of Earthrealm warriors who die in this conflict. <laughs> they would agree. You are a cavalier with other men's souls. Not just others! I offer my own soul as well. If I die, you will have it. How noble, Raiden. Utterly pointless. No! You see, their souls are already mine. Shao Kahn's payment for Netherrealm's allegiance. No! This was not meant to be! Earthrealm has lost, Raiden. Now so shall you. Finish him. As you command, my master. Now, we've had two-on-one fights before, but these are freaking three-on-one. Yeah, up first we fight Jax, Cabal, and Striker, all in their, like, zombie forms. Because they're dead souls. They're undead, I guess. But, yeah. All the good guys are now Quan Chi's zombie slaves. And, uh... Yeah, I think they might ever be like in trouble if they're doing a sequel to this because all the good guys are dead. I mean, sure, it's Mortal Kombat, they'll probably get resurrected in some way. It's not like the first time they've done stuff like that, but still. Unless they like add all the characters from uh, Mortal Kombat 4 and later because this game pretty much only focuses on Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. And many people agree that the Mortal Kombat series kind of, like, went downhill after that. But yeah, you have, like, three one-on-one -on -one fights with Jax, Striker, and Cabal. Except your health doesn't recover in between, so... It's kind of hard. But I'm actually doing pretty good so far. So, nothing to really... Oh, crap. I just hope he doesn't do that a lot more... Oh, no, no. Crap. And when you lose to one of them... Oh, don't, don't worry, you need to fight all of them again. Yeah, that's, uh... Real normal, right? Well... Just projectile spam my way to frickin' victory. Whoa, careful there, Jax. Don't wanna... Have to hurt his undead form even more than I should. But oh well. Though I think I might have figured out, like, how Sindel managed to kill Cabal. Because, you know, he has, like, this respirator suit. When she stomped on his chest like that, maybe she crushed the respirator thingy, which meant he wouldn't, he wasn't getting any more air, and that's why he died. But that still wouldn't kill him on impact. And how did Sindel kill Stryker? All she did was, like, punch him in the nose. Although that is apparently pretty fatal too, like if you get your nose broken, all the bone fragments can shoot up into your brain and like, rip it to shreds. I think I heard about stuff like that happening in like biology class or something. Or on Discovery Channel. I don't know. Anyways, I'm doing much better. I still have m much more health than I did in the first attempt, because now they haven't landed an x-ray move on me yet. Especially because it was Jax's X-Ray move, which is like the strongest one there is. Like most of them do 33% damage or something, Jax's does like over 40. So yeah, fry the hell out of Cabal. I mean, he has like respirator and like breathing equipment, that's short circuit if he gets hit by electricity. Kinda like Darth Vader with the whole force lightning thing. But yeah, he still somehow manages to keep his hook swords even though he is dead. How the hell did Quan Chi get those? Oh well, doesn't matter. May the Elder Gods watch over you. The Elder Gods cannot help them. 
Their souls are mine. Kitana, Nightwolf, Kung Lao. You sealed our fate in this place, Thunder God. You have condemned us all. Ooh, Kitana's outfit got even hotter. Damn, I would totally tap that if it wasn't dead. You know? Because necrophilia is bad, kids. Don't do it. Although I do wonder, like, what do they call an... Like, someone who has sex with dead kids. Do they call them a necropedophile or a pedonecrophile or something along those lines? That would be interesting to know. Like, that's just something that's popped up in the back of my head right there for no particular reason. But yeah, it's probably not something you would want to think about. I mean... Yeah. That was just like one of the weirdest things I've ever thought of. But yeah, this is only the first opponent and I've already lost more than half of my health, so... Guessing we're gonna have to do this one over as well. Oh crap, now it's Night Wolf. I hate Night Wolf. Whoa. That was kind of close. Shock him, come on. Oh yikes. Well, at least... Even though we blocked it, I managed to bounce back far enough to dodge his axe. So, lucky me, I guess. Like a little roundhouse kick. That's kind of a nice move, even though it's a bit slow. And... Sweet. I think I didn't take any damage. But crap, now it's Kung Lao, apparently the cheapest character in the game. That you can play as. Because if you could play as Shao Kahn, I'm pretty sure people would just only pick Shao Kahn online. Or Goro, or Kintaro, or whatever. And whatever happened to my X-Ray move? Did I use it? I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I had it like ready to use all the time, but... Eh, it's usable now, so... I might need to rely on that to get a win out of this one. Yeah, because Kung Lao can teleport, he can just like appear behind me. Kind of mess up my whole game plan. Oh, got him. Please tell me this kills it. Forehead chop. Nice. Hey, look, his hat's gone. And yoink. Oh, crap, no. Phew, surprised me there. Curse you, Quan Chi. Zhao Kahn's victory is nearly complete. Soon he will arrive in Earthrealm. No, the Elder Gods cannot allow it. The Elder Gods are toothless. Your world is near destruction, yet they do not act. They must! Only through mortal combat may Shao Kahn merge the realms, lest he face the judgment of the Elder Gods. Lest he face the judgment of the Elder Gods. He must win. It is you who face judgment, Raiden. Thank you, Quan Chi. I now know what must be done. From the nether realm empty handed, I see. Liu Kang! Liu Kang, I now realize what we must do. We must allow Shao Kahn to merge the realms. That is insane. The Elder Gods forbid it without victory in mortal combat. When he does, the Elder Gods' fury will fall upon him. Defeating Shao Kahn before the merge is but temporary. He will return, bringing Armageddon. I have foreseen it. Enough, Raiden! Here. No, do as I say. Have faith in the Elder Gods. Have faith in me. Liu Kang, I cannot let you fight Shao Kahn. Then you are my enemy. Well, quite honestly, after all the things that have gone kind of screwy after his uh, attempts to change things with the visions and all, I wouldn't really believe what Raiden has to say either, so I can see where Liu Kang's coming from. Especially when he says like, oh yeah, just let the guy who wants to destroy our realm and kill everyone, just let him win. Yeah, that is really the best idea possible. I mean, it really doesn't sound all that credible, quite honest. But yeah, at least we finally get to fight Liu Kang in the story mode. Because he's like... 
this is the first time you fight Liu Kang in the story mode, so... With this fight, we have finally fought against the entire cast of characters, apart from... Kratos, who is not in the story. And not in the Xbox 360 version, because... Hell will freeze over before Kratos will ever appear on a Microsoft system. And crap, his X-Ray. That's not a good thing. Oh, only 30% damage. Well, that's actually one of the weakest X-Rays there is. Maybe they're trying to say something with that, like, eh, Liu Kang's weak. Like, hell, Jax's X-Ray deals, like, 11% more damage. So, yeah. I must say, I like the, the background for this fight, though. The dragon just sitting there, roaring. And there goes his, uh... Spine, nice karate chop to the forehead, and yoink! I will keep doing that every time I do the frickin' X-ray. Get used to it. Liu Kang, do not interfere. <laughs> Liu Kang, stop! <laughs> Liu Kang, Raiden. No! Enough of your madness! If you must die, so be it! By the gods, no! No. This was not meant to happen. What did you do? Liu Kang. Forgive me. You have killed us all. Oh. Oh. Come on, it's up to us. <laughs> ah, Raiden, you have come to your senses. Earthrealm citizens suffer. Further resistance serves no purpose. All these ages you have fought me. You denied me my rightful claim. Not this time. The Elder Gods fear me now. <laughs> Their pathetic mortal combat shackles me no longer.
Great our will, Shao Kahn. You merge realms without victory in Mortal Kombat. Our penalty is clear. <laughs> An anemic effort from ineffectual deity. Today, a a a. I become the Elder God! So, whoa, that was a wacky sound glitch there. And no, that has nothing to do with the recording. It was actually like that when I was recording this, like on my TV as well. So, the game has some minor glitches here and there. Also, we had to cut out some attempts at Shao Kahn, because they kind of made the video drag on for uh, a good, like, seven or eight minutes. Because Shao Kahn is hard, and I'm not good with Raiden. So yeah, I had to cut out like five attempts or something. But this one is successful. Spoilers. Because I will... Or I am using pretty much the only viable tactic there is for fighting Shao Kahn. And that is projectile spamming. Because I've said it before when I fought him with Liu Kang in Chapter 11. If you get too close to him, he will kick your ass with his invincibility frames and super powerful moves. So, just stay back, shoot him with projectiles. If you don't have good projectiles, you're screwed. Like, I tried fighting him with er, an arcade with smoke the other day. And smoke does not really have a reliable projectile. Now, it was hard. Trust me. I mean, smoke's projectile, all he has is that gas ball that makes the opponent, like, appear in the mi in midair in front of him. Yeah, that's not really what you want to do with Shao Kahn, like, you want to keep him as far away as possible. Which is why characters like Smoke and Scorpion are pretty much screwed against him. I mean, sure, if you're good enough, you can probably still beat him, but... I'm not that good at this game, to be quite honest, though I'm sure you all will all know that by now after seeing me play through it. Although I do think I've been imp I have improved since I started out in Chapter 1. Or at least I like to think that I did. But yeah, what happened to all the golden dragons floating around Raiden? Where are they? I want my gold floating dragons. But yeah, we got this. Shao Kahn just keep on taunting and then we can kick his sorry ass. It is over. But only at the gravest of costs. So many are gone. Their light has sunk into the earth. I am responsible for their loss. You did what you had to, to protect Earthrealm. Losses in war are, are inevitable. Come, let us tend the fallen. Then we must help our realm rebuild. 
Our work has only just begun. Perfection, Lord Shinnok. Shao Kahn was blinded by rage. How easily he was convinced that the Elder Gods would ignore his merging the realms. Yet the Thunder God still lives. No matter. Neither Earth Realm nor Outworld can now withstand the Nether Realm's onslaught. It is time. Soon I will be free. Earth Realm and Outworld. Now, if that doesn't hint at a sequel following this timeline, I don't know what does. I mean, there's still plenty of stuff to work with, even though everyone and their mom is dead. I mean, let's see, who made it through the story mode alive? Raiden, Johnny Cage, Sonya, Quan Chi, the Shinnok guy, who never showed up in the rest of the game. Uh, let's see... I think some of the bad guys, like uh, Ermac, Melina, Cyrax, Sector, uh, Baraka, Reptile, like all the meaningless guys were just there to get beat up over and over again. I'm pretty sure they all lived. Important villains like Shao Kahn and Shang Tsung and Sindel are all dead. And uh, most of the heroes are. So I'm guessing they're going to be pulling from, like, the rest of the series' characters for a sequel game. Like, uh... I think I said it before, but this game covers, like, all the MK1 through 3 characters. And they're still MK4, and then pretty much came the 3D MKs, which were all kind of crappy and had horrible characters, but still. They could, like, uh, redo them to actually make them good. I mean, they did it with Striker. Everyone hated Striker back in MK3, and now he's actually pretty awesome. And who knows, maybe they'll, like, fill the cast with original characters. Like, they've just released the first DLC character, a female ninja named Scarlet, who is... Uh, completely new. So they can come up with new characters. But, yeah. I'm already anticipating the sequel, because... I must say, I, th I thought this game was pretty awesome. Story was good, well written, voice acting was... much better than I expected. And they were actually consistent with their voice actors, like a lot of the characters have the same voices as in MK versus DC. So, yeah, must say, I'm impressed. Did not expect this game to have so... Like, the story mode to be so good. So, yeah, I must say I like this game. Even though, yeah, I must say, it also wasn't really that hard for a fighting game. Like, I also picked up Marvel vs. Capcom 3 lately, and that game is hard as balls compared to this one. But yeah, another thing I said I'd do in the credits was I did a little tally of how many times you fight each character in the story mode. Well, here are the results. The characters you only fight once in the story mode are Sonya Blade, Raiden, Cyber Sub-Zero, Sindel, Jax, Striker, Cabal, and Liu Kang. So, most of the heroes and, like, Sindel, who was only introduced in, like, the final few chapters. And the characters you fight twice are Kung Lao, Nightwolf, Smoke, and Shao Kahn. Again, most of the heroes and, like, the main guy who doesn't really show up until halfway through the story. The characters you fight three times, these are the most. Sub-Zero, Jade, Cyrax, Johnny Cage, Scorpion, Quan Chi... Goro, Shang Tsung, Noob Saibot, and Kintaro. So here you'll find more villain characters, along with a few heroes like Jade, Johnny Cage. Although Jade wasn't really a hero until, like, chapter 10. The characters you fight four times. Now these are, like, the main villains who just get beat up over and over again. Namely, Reptile, Baraka, Kano, Kitana, strangely enough, Shiva, Ermac, and Melina. So, yeah, Shiva is actually not 
the character you fight most in story mode. There is one character who you fight five times. Can you guess who it is? Just pause the video, post in the comments who you think it is. Like, if you know the entire cat of this game, you'll probably know it already. But the character you fight five times in the story mode is... Sector, the red robot guy, if you don't know who Sector is. So, yeah, wasn't really expecting that, actually. I thought either Shiva, Baraka, or Ermac was gonna come out on top. But no, Sector snuck away with it. Ah, well. And yeah, there's the list of voice actors. I'm kind of sad that they didn't, like, list which person voiced which character. Like most games do. But I guess they didn't want to put too much emphasis on that. Ah, well, bummer. So, yeah, Mortal Kombat. I must say, if you're looking for a good online fighting game, look no further. It's good fighting system. It's pretty, like... Pretty easy to get into. Much easier than like Mortal Kombat or uh, I'm talking about Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And they are actually like doing a lot of DLC support. They already pretty much said, okay, we are gonna do four characters, maybe even more. Each character comes with two skins for old characters. And they released a whole pack of like seven skins and three fatalities for some characters. So they're doing a damn good job at supporting this game with DLC. And I must say, this game is totally worth it if you have a PS3 or 360, go out and buy it now. So, about the next LP. Well, it is a Nintendo game. A GameCube game. Made by... it was like one of the last games made by that developer. Ouch! Poor Sub-Zero. For Nintendo. So stay tuned for tomorrow.